So today's payback is a few weeks away, but before we go through the, the new matches on the card, we do have one update because of the Superstar Shakeup. Actually, two of them do the Superstar Shakeup, which we'll get to very quickly. Uh, first off, we have the United States Championship as Chris Jericho, uh, Chris Jericho has his mandatory rematch clause against Kevin Owens. It's interesting because SmackDown drafted Kevin Owens, but as we soon found out, they have in fact drafted the United States Championship, but not the champion. What this means is whoever walks out the United States Champion will automatically go to SmackDown. So even though Kevin Owens technically, as champion right now, is on SmackDown, he may not be on SmackDown uh, after payback, which... As much as I want Kevin Owens to win, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm switching my prediction just based on the fact that I do not want Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens on the same show because we will have the same match between them over and over again. When on Battleground, I believe last year, was supposed to be the final match between the two, but they were both drafted to the Raw, meaning they would have more matches. Uh, as much as Jericho will not possibly win, I am only picking Jericho just based on the fact that that I want Owens on Raw, so Sammy stays on SmackDown, so we do not have them going at it forever. Which isn't a bad thing. They don't they have great matches together. But you had a stipulation last year that said this would be the final encounter. And we would have had 50 final encounters after that. That makes no sense. And also, the WWE Championship is on the line as Ray Orton defends against Bray Wyatt. Uh, why is on Raw now? This will be a House of Horrors match. We do not know what a House of Horror match is even after this. We don't know what it is. Um, I'm interested by it, but we don't know what it is. But what we do know is that Randy Orton will probably retain so that the championship stayed on SmackDown. However, with, with Brock Lesnar being the Universal Champion, I would not be surprised if the WWE title went over to Raw to make up for the fact that uh, that's, that, that Raw doesn't have a world champion right now. Speaking of championships, the newest member, one of the newest members of the Raw roster, Alexa Bliss, won a fatal four-way to face Bayley for the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, you know, on one hand, I would like to have Bayley hold the title. But on the other hand, the WrestleMania story is pretty much over, so it makes sense for Bliss to retain, to win the belt, and be one of the few, as far as I know so far, probably the only woman to hold the Raw and Women, I'm sorry, the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championships. It would be interesting if it was the Raw and Women, but the Raw and Women's SmackDown titles at the same time. So to have that history moment, the history-making moment would be something. Next up, Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. This match was probably going to happen at Elimination Chamber, but due to Seth's injury, which led to the match at WrestleMania between him and Triple H, uh, that match never happened. So this match will probably be what it what it could have been a couple of months ago, and I could see Rollins picking up the win. However, I wouldn't be surprised if Joe won. But I feel like Rollins need to have that momentum going. And plus, Joe wasn't even on WrestleMania cards. So it's, you know, it's not like he has any momentum for him anyway. And finally, even though we heard you deserve a chance, while Roman Reigns was basically dead on a stretcher, to the point where Braun Strowman lifted an ambulance, <laughs> destroyed Roman, Basically, took out the Big Show last night on Raw, where the ring collapsed, which I haven't seen in several years. Probably, you think about it, probably 800 pounds at least on that superplex between him and the Big Show. But nonetheless, Braun Strowman will face Roman Reigns once again. And this is becoming a unfortunate theme. As of late, because we all know Roman will probably win. He will probably win, even though he was basically murdered last week on Raw. He will come back from the dead, just like Jesus Christ on Easter. He will somehow come off of a fucking crucifix. I don't fucking know. He'll come off of a fucking something. 
and win the match somehow. I don't know how he will, but the fact is Roman has been pushed as literally the guy. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if he won, but I, I am pulling for Braun. But, you know, this is all basically going towards WrestleMania next year for Brock and Roman, as that was the announced main event for WrestleMania 34. So you have to have, unfortunately, Roman looking strong. And with that, payback is a few weeks away. If any more matches come up, we will be the first to let you know.